over to 15. And this was Hunter Mahan's tee shot at this par four just earlier. Mahan at nine under and taken a trip toward the trees did not come out of the trees we understand and they're looking over there now hmm. as no one was able to see that ball come down so let's bring in Nota Begay what they're looking upwards Nota as if it, it didn't come out of the tree we have in fact identified a ball out here but Hunter is not sure and is not able to yet clearly identify it as his ball and until he does he needs to figure out whether he's going to determine it lost or head head back to the tee. Yeah, our cameras grabbed a shot of it there. That is what Hunter is looking at. Wind might who knows blow it out of there if it gets a big enough gust. I mean that's as this a, weather comes in. That's a bad break to stay up in that tree. There isn't much there to keep it up there. It's not like a cypress tree or can, can out you, uh, out of Harding you Park or something. Remember yeah, Sergio Garcia yeah, climbing the tree. Johnny, you hit a few to hit 100 yeah, balls yeah, up there. You might maybe see, one might yeah, stay up. Now Hunter's looking at our camera. I, I saw it through here. I mean, I see it. I see it. I see it. Are you good with that, dude? Give me that thing. He is just perched on that little limb. I can make it playable for you. No, you can't. You can't play it. You can't play it. So it's an unplayable. So the, the point that we have to drop is under the ground. So you have two club links, no closer, or uh, uh, that point back. So. so. I mean, you gonna put a tee down here? Yes, yeah. that's what that's our best. That's our best bet. So you can hear John Brendel saying it's an unplayable. He's identified it as his ball, but he can't do anything with it. Well, you just drop it as uh, you know. In other words, right under where the ball is, you can put a tee, and then within two club lengths, no nearer the hole from that tee. 